Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program, fuckers. And today I'd like to ask the question, is a hotel room really worth 600 bucks a night? And uh, I've just come back from a wonderful uh, vacation in Bangkok, Thailand, five-star style. And I had the absolute fortune of staying at the Sukhothai, one of Bangkok's oldest hotels, oldest five-star hotels. And uh, I got to tell you, normally I always watch my dimes. Well, even on this trip, I watched my dimes and nickels. But uh, I had a very glorious sponsor who uh, assisted Archie in paying for the hotel and a five-star course of meals and uh, exquisite functions. And uh, I've got to tell you, I think this is really true luxury. Is a hotel room worth 600 bucks a night? Well, I can't give you the answer. However, I can certainly see what you get for your money. You get for your money a beautiful hotel in a good part of town. You get for your money a beautiful room with desk, sofa, lounge, uh, and one of the most comfortable beds you'll ever have the fortune of having slept in. A hotel of this caliber here will have a pillow menu where you can choose between duck, goose, or other exotic creatures. This sort of hotel will have a uh, full complement of uh, imported soaps and shampoos for your use and disposal. This is the sort of hotel that uh, makes traveling so wonderful and luxurious. Is it worth 600 bucks a night? Only you can really be the judge. It depends on your budget and your station in life, fuckers. It depends on your station in life. <clears throat> you may be a backpacker. This is not the place to be. But if you're a middle-aged, upper-middle-class businessman, I can't see of a better way to spend the nights. Especially if you have a, uh, a beautiful lady friend to uh, a beautiful lady friend to uh, contemplate the wee hours in the morning. This is a sort of hotel which has a spa bath. It has a complete his and her end of the bathroom. It's pure luxury, it's pure class, it's 600 bucks a night, fuckers, 600 bucks. And uh, I gotta tell you the truth, 600 bucks a night, however, if you do a bit of internet browsing, bit of shopping around, you will get the room a lot cheaper. It drops down, it drops down to about just over half of that, if you book in advance and get a deal. It's still not terribly cheap, and, you know, there is only so much that prices will go down. So it's, it's really something you have to contemplate whether it's worth it or not. But if one has the financial means to afford such accommodation, I'd certainly highly recommend it. And uh, I've got to tell you the truth there. I thoroughly enjoyed my experience at this hotel. Quality furnishings, quality carpets, the most beautiful bed in the world. This is what travel is all about. Luxurious, exotic holiday destinations with a beautiful, exotic woman. What more could one want in life? With a Patek strapped on your wrist, with a Louis Vuitton briefcase in your hand, a tailored suit on your back, and... Uh, a luxurious Bangkok five-star hotel room. Life can be no grander. And at the end of the day, when we're lying in the casket in the undertaker's, in the undertaker's store, we can look back and laugh and say, what a wonderful experience we have enjoyed. Is it worth 600 bucks a night? It depends. It depends on how much money you have. And uh, for this lower middle class, overweight, middle aged guy, it's an experience I will savour forever 
and cherish the thought and memory of. And I've got to say this much. In life, you get one shot at it. It's like a Frank Sinatra movie. One shot Frankie. And uh, let's not fuck around wasting time. Let's not, let's not be stupid and uh, get all, get all hoity-toity. This is the way to travel. And I'm very proud. I spent my time at the Sukhothai Hotel in Bangkok. And I enjoyed the facilities, the gardens, the ponds, just an aged Bangkok hotel. What a wonderful experience. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. What a hotel. What a room. What a holiday.